What's up guys? Welcome back to Machine Zinc. I'm Jake and today we're going to be diving into rock sliders slash rockers on my Jeep XJ. So if you've been following along last episode, we ended up cutting out the floor pans in the Jeep and replacing those with just new sheet metal because they were all rusted out. And I figured this was a good time to go ahead and raise my rock sliders up into the rockers uh, because the outriggers from the sliders that go down to the frame actually go through the floorboard anyways. So I figure if I'm making those new floorboards, go ahead and just make them uh, how they need to be for those outriggers to go through them. So we already did a little bit of the grunt work here. I went ahead and cut the rockers out where I wanted them. Um, we already cleaned up those sliders and moved them up into position and everything's kind of tacked in place right now. But today what I want to focus on is the front portion of my roll cage. So the A pillar is going to come down and land on that rock slider. So I need to go ahead and get that tacked onto the rock slider in its proper position. Once that's done, we're going to pull this thing off, finish weld all of it, and then we're going to paint it with some weld through primer, put it back up on the Jeep and weld it into place finally. So we are gonna be welding it all the way along the rocker panel on the Jeep, as well as those outriggers down to the frame will be welded. So this thing's gonna be pretty beef, and it's also providing a couple of tie-in points for the roll cage. So, and that will be the next episode after this. This is a super common modification where people will buy two by six steel, cut the rockers out and weld that in in replacement. I'm trying to keep this on the budget. I didn't want to buy two by six steel. So I went ahead and cut out my rockers and then I just welded in the sliders that I already had. Then uh, from there, I did some outriggers that go down from the sliders to the frame. So we got those all set up and they're cut through the rockers as well. Okay, so now that I have this lower portion of the A-pillar tacked on at the right angle that I want, it's time to remove these rock sliders and fully weld them up. The reason that I set this up is this is a tube clamp or coupler. So essentially this will allow me to disconnect this portion of the cage. The way I'm gonna set up my cage, it's very, gonna be very similar to like an exofab cage, but the interior is gonna have, you know, regular harness bar and X's behind the driver and passenger. Um, the top is gonna be an exo cage. And it's going to bolt through the roof um, to the main hoops in the back and in the middle. And then this is the last portion that will unbolt and you'll be able to take off the whole exoskeleton essentially. So doing that for a couple of reasons. First off, it's going to make it a lot easier to weld everything properly and to paint the entire cage properly. And also it'll just make it nice to be able to take the cage off later if I need to replace a windshield um, or just kind of get access to any other areas. Um, so that way, you know, I'm not having to work around all that tube work, but I'm super stoked. These are all tacked on. It came out pretty straight. So it's time to yank these off and get to burning this all together. Um, this is all held on right now, just with a couple, couple tack welds. So I'm going to break all of those, um, break the tack welds down here in the frame, pull it off and, uh, we'll get to burning. Thank you. 
All right, so these sliders are fully welded in. Well, almost fully welded in, but we got it all welded into the body. We have the outriggers welded in down to the frame. They're totally solid and ready to go. The only portion that I have not yet welded is the furthest rear outrigger uh, because that's where the B pillar of the cage is gonna come down and tie into. And I wanna weld that portion in before I weld it through to the floor. But overall, pretty simple process. Essentially, we kind of mocked everything up on the car and tacked it to the body at first. Then once I got it set up how I wanted, um, I went ahead and cut the tacks that held the setup to the body, dropped the sliders with the outriggers on them, and fully welded them outside of the car. And the reason I did that is mostly because the welds on the top of the outriggers to the sliders are completely inside the rockers now, so I wouldn't be able to get to those if I was welding them in the body. So pulled it off, fully welded that, and then sprayed it with some weld-through primer. Um, if you guys are seeing any red anywhere on these sliders on the floorboards, that's just the weld-through primer that I like to use. And again, that's because that area is going to be up inside the rocker. We're not going to get access to it to be able to paint it. So we're just trying to protect it from any sort of rust, stuff like that, since it's just essentially bare metal up inside there. So a couple things that I'm still waiting for. First off, I do need to go ahead and start the B-pillar portion of the cage. And then once that B-pillar is welded down, I'm going to go back and I'm going to run seam sealer along all these new floor pans, uh, all the slider welds, everything, just to get everything smooth and nice and sealed up and then we'll come back and paint everything. So that's gonna be coming up in a video here soon. But for now, I'm excited to go ahead and get started up on this cage. I know in the last video, I did mention um, raising the tank up into the floor. I'm still debating on that. The biggest thing is I do wanna have the filler neck outside on the body. And I have a couple ideas of how I could do that, but it's starting to seem like a little bit more work than I maybe thought, um, especially a little bit more work than just building a gas tank skid. So my plan is for now, I wanna go ahead and get started on this cage and I can kinda of take some time to decide if I wanna do a tank tuck, but I can go ahead and start on the A pillar portion of the cage, the B pillar portion of the cage, all the roof portions of the cage, and I think that's gonna give me uh, plenty of work to do while I think about what I wanna do with the C pillar portion. Anyways guys, appreciate you tuning in to another episode in the garage. Uh, if you guys did like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you wanna follow along with getting this roll cage built, definitely subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Machines Inc. Jake. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.